Hi everybody, it's Jen and I'm back with another video. So um, I said that I would be doing weekly updates on the water challenge and or the liquid challenge and this is week number one. So I have been sticking to what I said I would do with the mason jars. So um, this is 32 ounces of water um, in a mason jar. Like I said, you can get these from Walmart. Um, from Walmart, I also bought um, these little things and the straws. These, um, you get four of them and you get four straws. And of course these kind of come with the jar. So how they work is you kind of just place it on top and then you go ahead and twist it in and you stick the straw in through here like that. I'm not gonna put the straw in. Um, but um, when I got them, I didn't realize that they don't fit in my car holder. So I was a little bit, these are only good for in the house <laughs> um, jars, unless I get a um, container where I can kind of carry these in the car without a cup holder, but I probably won't. So um, it's only good for in the house. So, I have been doing this. This is 24 ounces. It's a water bottle I got from Target Contigo. Um, just looks like that. And uh, you kind of pop the top on it right here and press this button and it lifts up and you can kind of suck your water through there or your juice through there. I do water juice smoothies. Anything I can fit up in here. Um, and this is what I put in my car when I'm on the go. So by the end of the day, I'd say, I get in the house at about 5.30. Um, I'm already at 56 um, ounces of water, which is half of what I'm supposed to drink. Sometimes I will drink um, more and refill this, but I always um, finish this at least. So I know I'm about at 52, 56 ounces. Then I come back in the house and I do 32 ounces of this mason jar again. So that'll leave me at 88 ounces of water. And then I'll go ahead and I'll finish off those other um, ounces with a tea or, um, yeah, mainly a tea. I drink tea every night before I go to bed. So I'll finish off the rest of those ounces with a pot of tea. And that'll round me up to my 100 ounces of water. Now, um, about this water challenge, the best advice I can give to you is to incorporate it in your day. It's so much easier when you don't dread having to drink the water. When you actually wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, I need to drink this water. It, it, it makes it harder for you to drink it. But if you wake up and you do it, then it, it'll become less of a chore and more of a habit, which is the point of this 28-day liquid challenge. It's not um, to just do the challenge and be done with it. It's to actually incorporate this into your lifestyle. So the best thing for you to do is to really go all in and fit it into your everyday routine to where it's not a challenge. It's more so an overall layout of your day. It's just, it, it comes with the day. Um, so that's my best advice on how to get through drinking all of the water because um, at first it seems like a lot but once you start doing it, it it's really not that much I when in the morning when I first started waking up trying to drink 32 ounces it did feel like a lot and I was just like oh, oh, oh. but after like day four I was drinking the water it was almost gone and I didn't even realize it so once you incorporate it into your routine um, the easier it'll be for you and the easier it'll be for your body to kind of digest it and to get you used to when you have to go use the bathroom and things like that. It just gets easier for you. Um, now, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, I'm sorry, I'm sick, so that's why I'm breathing really hard and just all this craziness. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was the Yogi Tea. So, um, like I said, I love Yogi Tea. I drink Yogi Tea all of the time. Um, here I have a couple of my favorite Yogi Teas. Um, these are all the ones that I just had in my cabinet at the moment. So, these are the ones I'm going to talk to you about. <coughs> so, um, the Super Green Antioxidant Tea um, is really good for meditating if you're into that kind of thing. 
Um, it helps calm your body down. Your body produces a lot of stress and um, what else does it say? Um, a lot of stress and a lot of polluted energy comes into your body throughout the day. That's just natural. That's just how all um, of us operate. So um, this body, this tea helps with that and it helps calm your body down to the point of you preparing to meditate. It's like a preparation for meditation or a preparation for yoga. That's what it says um, on the side. It kind of gives you the steps on how to, uh, you know, prepare your body for yoga. Yeah, it kind of gives your, your body the steps. Um, it tells you the principles of this tea and um, on the side it kind of gives you all of the instructions. I meant not all of the instructions, all of the ingredients that are in the tea. This tea is um, all of their teas are 100% organic, no preservatives in there, it's nothing but dried out tea leaves. So I love Yogi Tea. Um, I love this tea. Um, it does have a tiny aftertaste of, I would say to the normal person, licorice. It does kind of have a, a hint of licorice aftertaste, but if you drink your tea with honey, then you will not be able to tell at all. Um, I just don't use sweetener, so um, I can tell a little bit more because I don't use any sweetener. It doesn't bother me because I like the taste of licorice, but if you don't like the taste of licorice, I would kind of be aware about this tea. Now, this tea is my favorite tea. This is the Blueberry Slim Life, and this is the dieting tea. Um, it is also a very energizing tea. It promotes energy. Um, it helps you maintain an active lifestyle while dieting. So um, if you're very busy and you're running around, this is a good tea to drink in the morning. It'll kind of keep you organized in the mind and kind of give you a clear head um, to start your day. I really like this tea. Um, and then this tea right here is the bedtime tea. It has chamomile in it and all bedtime teas have chamomile in it. Um, chamomile just helps you go to bed. It's very soothing. It calms your mind down, calms your body down, and it kind of prepares you for that state of resting. So um, these are my favorite teas. These are the teas I drink all the time. Um, I am going to post one of these teas on my blog. I'll post a picture of them so that you can kind of get a close up on all of the the staples of the tea. Um, Yogi tea kind of varies in price. You can find them almost anywhere. Um, probably even Walmart. I'm not sure about Walmart, but um, I know they have them in Food Lion. Um, I know that they have them in like a lot of grocery stores around Charlotte. And um, they range in price from sometimes you can get them two for four, and that's when I really rack up on them, or um, they'll range from like three to four bucks. So from four dollars to two dollars, depending on where you purchase them at. Um, if there's any place that I go and they're super cheap, I'll just go ahead and I'll send out a blast on my blog. If you subscribe to my blog, you will receive um, little tiny messages from me every once in a while. And I'll shoot out a message on my blog on where you can get the cheapest yogi tea. Um, so I also talked about smoothies and juices. And I did not realize that some people don't have all of that equipment. You don't have a juicer. You don't have a blender. So what do you do? Um, eat it. You can eat what you juice. So I normally juice um, two cups of spinach, four parsnips. Um, you can also substitute the parsnips with carrots. Um, I do sometimes. Um, the only reason why I use parsnips is because it's a green drink and the carrots kind of make it like a dirty green, but the parsnips keep it a fresh green. So if you do want to use carrots, that's fine. Um, your juice will just come out a little bit dirtier looking. It won't be dirty. It'll just be dirty looking <laughs> and um, it'll still taste just as good, um, but that's if you don't want to get the parsnips. They taste the same though. Um, and uh, I also do two green apples. So if you cannot juice that, then I say cut that recipe in half and eat it. So 
I would eat one apple, two carrots or parsnips, and then I would make like a spinach salad or do something with the spinach for lunch. Put it in a sandwich or a wrap or whatever you want to do, but just get that spinach in there. And that would be your way of participating in the challenge without having a juicer or a blender or any of that high-tech equipment that you just don't feel like purchasing because I understand it's, it's expensive stuff and you don't want to spend the money um, when you don't really necessarily have to. So um, that's my advice for the juice and smoothie part of the challenge. And um, my advice overall is to just incorporate. Incorporate, incorporate, incorporate because once you incorporate, it's so much easier to move on to the next step. Because um, if you don't incorporate it, it's always going to feel like it's a challenge. And the goal is not to make this a lifelong challenge. The goal is to make this a lifelong habit and a lifelong lifestyle. <laughs> so um, incorporate it and you'll feel so much better. Um, all right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Four Shots of Gin. You can also go to my blog. It's thegreenbeing.wix.com backslash the health blog or backslash health blog. I will put a link down below to my website as well as my Instagram name so that you can go on ahead and follow me. And I will let you guys know um, when I post new videos if you go on ahead and subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.